What's going on YouTube? My name is Jason and welcome to today's show. It's a Friday evening, a very uh, rainy and wet Friday evening and I will be talking you through uh, three Seiko sets on the squeaky table. We have got the uh, Seiko Precharge uh, Starbar, we have got the SJE073, the so-called uh, baby Grand Seiko and then we have got on the right the SVGA211, the Grand Seiko Snowflake that I uh, did a review earlier. So uh, how's the pricing like? We are looking at uh, the SJE, it's about 5 times the Starbar and uh, the Grand Seiko, it's about 17 times the Starbar. What are you getting for your money? So let's go from the outside in. We'll first look at the boxes. For the star bar, you have got this white box that has got a metal plate that says Seiko Presage on the outside. Okay, when we open it up, it's a very tight little box. It says Presage Limited Edition. Nothing fanciful with the uh, cushion. Okay, just let me close with a nice solid oomphy sound. And then for the SJE 073, we have got a very slick packaging, very reflective surface. You do know that all these boxes, they just end up somewhere in the storeroom. So let me open this up. Very handy. It says also a Presage limited edition, but this time in black. Okay, let me close this. And then when you go to Grand Seiko, you have got this in this Grand Seiko blue color box very hefty looking like it was just slightly bigger than the uh, Starbucks box and it just says here Grand Seiko with the uh, lion insignia so boxes boxes that will be kept in the storeroom so the watch itself the Starbucks over here uh, it runs on the uh, 4R57 movement it has got the date wheel as well as the power reserve indicator uh, the dial, textured dial reminds me somewhat of one of the middle let me see I don't have the reference number for the middle but one of the middles has got this uh, textured dial uh, it's on the blue hair strap this is not the original strap uh, it has got a 29 jewels for this 4R57 movement uh, it's different color so it really you can see how it jumps out at you when you turn behind and look at it it's a limited edition. So the strap, the original bracelet uh, is this. It's a, a deploying class. Let me see if you can focus. Focus. So we have got it uh, brushed on the one and third, fifth links, and then it's uh, polished on the second and fourth. If you flip over on the other side, it's a deploying class stainless steel. It's made of stainless steel, it's a deploying class. Just let me lay this down. Okay, so the SJE073, we have only got the uh, date complication. Also a very lovely dial. You can see the dial texture is like uh, almost, almost uh, paper, like paper, price paper like in fact. Okay, it's on a collar wrap, vegan strap. I wanted to protect the, uh, the original bracelet. It has got the uh, six six L thirty five movement. This is the this for this watch. If this was the first time Seiko used the six L thirty five A movement. This has got uh, twenty six jewels as well as forty five hour power reserve. A four hour increase from the previous movement. You can see this watch is slightly bigger than the Star Bar. Uh, it's also much flatter than the Star Bar. Okay, makes it a uh, dress watchy. Then we have got the bracelet. How does the bracelet work? Let me extend it. Okay, I think one of the uh, one of the uh, spring bar came off. It's uh, brushed on the first and on the last link. In the middle, it's a mixture of uh, brush finishing and uh, highly polished finishing. Okay, it's a class. I think this is what we call the milk class. Steps on this way. Okay, stainless steel by the way. You can't, you can't feel it here, but it's actually stainless steel. 
so let me put it down and try to remember the uh, spring bar later okay then we go to the grand seiko sbga it's titanium case uh, it has got the power reserve indicator as well as a date wheel in the background you can see the snowflake texture that gives it its nickname all right the bracelet is in stainless steel almost like the one that you see on the sje uh, 73 but this has got the grand seiko uh, logo stamped stamped here the movement the uh, 9R65 has got 30 jewels uh, very well decorated relative to the first two with the Tokyo so-called Tokyo stripes you can see the movement okay so now the big question and the purpose of this video is really you know if you could choose each of the three given your circumstances and you could only choose one which one would you choose and why uh, for many uh, the Grand Seiko Snowflake here is the grail watch for uh, many people. Uh, it's really, you know, if you are somewhat into watches, you feel that, you know, this is the watch you should have in your collection. But if you go down the just a few rungs, you're also getting quite good watches and at really at a much uh, lower price point. For example, this is what? This is a, a third of a... A third or one quarter of a Grand Seiko and you're really getting a lot of watch here doesn't have the uh, brand equity like that of a Grand Seiko uh, but it's a well-made watch then when you go all the way uh, back to the star bar some might consider that uh, the money you're paying for a star bar is a bit too much you know uh, compared to say a smart watch but for those of you who are into mechanical watches you know that this is one of the variations of the uh, cocktail time series of Seiko's. Uh, in fact, if you don't know better, you, you would think that wow, this actually the the rotor blade actually stands out. It looks at you. So I'm not sure about you. I think uh, there are really uh, oh you can see my toe there there you you know you're paying for something and I think beyond maybe. Uh, the SJE 073 you're paying a lot of a lot more money for the brand Grand Seiko I think this really applies to uh, watches in general uh, you can see that once you go beyond a certain level you are really paying more for the fact that it really reflects uh, uh, how comfortable you are with your finances and in life so I'm not sure I could be wrong. I, so, you know, just share your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, it's a long weekend. Uh, there's nowhere to go for me at least. So just drop your comments on what you'd like to see for the next video where I will probably do all the bells and whistle. Uh, see you in the next one.